There's no one doing it like me. Nobody. I make more dough than a bakery, I do, yeah? <laughs> Then you can't tell me nothing, right? Connor, take the glasses off. For sure, no problem. <laughs> Might put down 12 cans on this stream. <laughs> Cuba! Think about Bilal Muhammad as a champ. Oh, he's woeful. I, I, I want to I wanna fight him. Yeah, let's schedule. Okay, Chandler's match. Bilal McGregor, uh, UFC welterweight world title fight on the line. I'm on, I'm, I've knockouts, multiple knockouts in uh, at 170. I'm a force to be reckoned with at 170. I do damage at 170, yeah? Check the stats. So uh, I've done them at 100% accuracy. This man hasn't even got a knockdown in UFC history. Not one knockdown. It's embarrassing, to be honest, you know. Kind of slow a roll on a person, yeah? Because you just don't give a bollocks. They're all bombs in the... Um, this is Conor McGregor during during a live stream uh, with Kick and Dual Beats. Uh, you know, it's just his uh, usual self. You know, uh, you know, during I don't know what's wrong with him here. Maybe he's high or something. I don't know. You know, we could see him drinking, and he called out Bella Mohammed, a current UFC welterweight champion of the world. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know why he's calling out Bella. You refuse to fight Michael Chandler. You cancel the fight, and now you are calling out Bella Mohammed. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know the reason why. Maybe he thinks he has a better chance with Bella or Mohammed. He said Bella has not even had a knockdown like in the UFC. Uh, in in all his fights, he has not even had one single knockdown before. So I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if Bella uh, will accept that. But I'm very sure everybody would anybody would jump on uh, Conor McGregor's fight. Uh, he's the biggest draw now, but you know some people are saying he's already losing the the momentum, the steam. Like he's not really at the top again because of his uh, absence in the game. I don't think so. If Conor wants to fight tomorrow in the UFC, he will fight and he will still sell out. So I think him calling out uh, Bella Mohammed here. It's just he wants people to understand that he's still he's still at the top of his game. He's still calling the shot. So I don't know. I don't know why he's doing that, but um, I think um, Bella will jump on it. And we know Connor recently cancelled his fight against Michael Chandler. You know, Michael is moving on uh, to fight Charles Oliveira for the second time. We all know how the first fight went. Charles Oliveira knocked him out in the second round. Uh, I believe Michael Chandler was just fast tracked to the title, uh, title uh, challenge in the first place because he just came over from Bellator, fought Danuka number nine round down Danuka, he knocked him out. Then what else? Uh, they put him up uh, against Oliveira for the belt. So and Oliveira since then he has lost how many fights? Maybe three fights or so. So. Well, let's see how that fight uh, will go in November 16. Um, Conor McGregor also uh, recently granted an interview uh, with Ariel Awani. I think the interview took place at the uh, Joshua Dane Dubois fight in Wembley Stadium. Uh, let's watch of the course interview. I'd be remiss if I don't ask about your situation it's one of the great sagas of this past year are you fighting in 2024 Dana White recently saying 2025 now it'll be 2025, okay. it'll when, be 2025. when do we think you know we'll see my, my opponent that I had scheduled Chandler has got re has got matched are we'll you upset see. by that no, you know it is what it is I, I, I just take it on board and just rock on my job is just to go to the gym be in the gym be in shape and you know, one thing is for sure, when the, whenever it is and, and wherever it is, I will be 100% ready. And that, that's, that's all I, I can focus on right now. Two fights left though. Do you think you get those two fights in 2025? Uh, I must, I must, I must. It's the promised lands, you know? So we'll see. What happens after those two fights? I, I don't even know. I don't think no one in the space knows. I'm the highest uh, generating fighter on planet Earth right now in, today, in today's space. And what happens afterwards i'm not after this i'm as i'm a free agent i'm not so sure but one thing i do know i'm very excited that we have a uh, partnered bare knuckle fighting championship with that zone and we've got three world titles on the line for our debut uh, inaugural that event 
live from Marbella, Spain, in an open air bullfighting arena. I'm very excited about that. It's October 12th, to October be exact. October 12th. Are you there? With that I, I, I will hope sure. to be there. Uh, last last it's, one. It's different. It is different. You would like to do it? It is different. I'm going to speak, I'm speaking with Sheikh Turkey about it. Potential matchups for my own self. A lot of exciting things going on. Okay, last one. Who is facing you when you return? Last one. Man, who knows now nowadays? It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Just as long as I can get back and, you know, whoever, whoever, that's it. All right, thank you, Connor. Thank you. Enjoy I'd the like, fight. I'd like it to be Chandler. I'd like to get that squared away, you know, so I wish him well against Oliveira, but let's see how it goes. All right, thank you, Connor. Thank you, Enjoy. Thank you. Guys, back to you. Yeah, um, he has two more fights uh, in the contract uh, with the UFC, so I don't know uh, when he's coming back. He said uh, 2025. Well, Connor has been saying he's coming back since the last two, three years. So I don't know if that will be uh, the case. Uh, now he's calling out uh, Bella Mohamed. So I don't know if Bella uh, will respond to his call out. Who do you think will win? Do you think Connor has a chance against Bella Mohamed, or do you think Bella Mohamed? You know, Bella is a is a known wrestler. Let's assume the fight uh, UFC makes. The fight happens. Bella is known for for his wrestling, you know. Like you know, I think he has some uh, jujitsu too. I don't know if he has that, but you know, Connor is a striker, pure striker. Uh, he's known for his knockout power and everything. So, who do you think? How do you think the fight will go? Do you think uh, Connor will be able to knock out Bella Mohamed? Because I know that uh, the answer will be positive. Bella will be ready to to jump on. Connor's fight because uh, you know it's uh, it's funny now that because he's at the top now everybody's trying to call him out when he was nothing nobody remembered him they didn't remember his name but now everybody's calling him out you know that's to show that when you're at the top you know everybody's looking up to you so who do you think will win if the fight happens let's hear your opinion like this video share your comments thanks for watching see you soon